Improper earthing may result to surge invitation which may cause serious damage to your equipment and even life. We take no liability for the damage caused due to lightning or such hazards. Please read the description carefully. Welcome to the Techie Tech. Today we will learn how to make 800MHz to 2300MHz signal booster. Before starting let's take a quick look at the items needed to build this project. Aluminium square pipe of 15mm diameter. Aluminium sheet. Coaxial cable according to your pole height. Sure to use single cable, joints may decrease signal gain. Assemble cable jointers at both ends. Aluminium strip line for dipole, measurements are shown in the image. Create three holes, one on center and one each on both ends. Six pieces of tubular elements, each of 6 mm diameter. Lengths and size are given in description box below. Self-made clamps to keep elements erect. Self-made holders to hold elements. Some screws and some nut bolts, choose them according to your needs. Here we are using standard 50 ohms balen. If you don't know how to make balen, please click on the suggest link above, or get the link in the description box below. And at last, we need some basic tools like, cutter plier, screwdriver, knife, scissor etc. And of course a working mind. Let's start. Take the aluminium square pipe, and drill holes as shown. Drill the holes in such manner that screws you have fits tightly. The measurements and positions of holes can be understood by this image. After you have drilled the holes at given measurements, place the holder's element and clamp together and fit it to the square pipe or boom, using screws. Repeat the process with all elements. Keep in mind that on both sides of boom, the elements will be in ascending order, means shortest to longest. The three short elements will be on one side, and remaining three will be on other side. After you successfully assembled all elements to their place, ensure that all screws are tightly fit. And all the elements are parallel to each other. In Yagi structured antennas, line and length are most important factors which affect antennas performance. Minor mistakes may lead to improper function or signal loss. Now we will take aluminium strip panel, which we are using as dipole, also known as driven element. The black tape pasted in dipole is just to help bending it. You may ignore it. Dipole can also made as split one. But fold the dipole which we are using here seems better. Assemble the dipole as shown in the video.
After you successfully assembled the dipole to the balen, place it to the antenna and fit it as shown using nut and bolts. Keep in mind that the dipole must be at the long element side, and the balen must be in short element side. Here we will use any non-conductive material to place between dipole ends, so that both ends do not make contact with antenna boom. Place between dipole ends and tighten the screws as shown. Now assemble the bale and by tighten another nut so that it holds its position. You may use clamps or washers if needed. As you can see, the toughest part of antenna making is over. And as result, outcome is perfect. This was first part of video, due to length of video it is split into two parts. In the next part we will make and assemble its reflector and mobile hub. We will also test it at no network zone, so that all our viewers will watch it working. All details are in description box, don't forget to check it. If any confusion, comment below. This video definitely deserves one like. Support us by liking and sharing our contents, so others may get help too. Thanks for watching, see you at next video, take care, have a very great day.